out with the old and in with the new. That's the apparent new motto of long-running police procedural show NCIS. Mark Harmon, who plays supervisory special agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs, will be replaced with entourage actor Gary Cole. Fans are interested to see how this goes, as Harmon was a real favorite in the lead role. Today, we're discussing what Cole has to say in relation to replacing Harmon in the lead role. Stay tuned. First up, when will season 20 be out? Fans of the show will know that season 19 is currently airing on CBS, following through early 2022. There has been no word from the station yet as to whether the show will return, but given its popularity, we're guessing this is a mere formality, seeing as they have just announced a new lead actor. As with most other seasons of the hit show, it's expected to be back on our screens next autumn, somewhere around September. It's also been announced that the show will have a new home in the UK, having been confirmed that it will be streaming on Disney Plus from early next year. Are you excited for season 20? Give us your thoughts and what directions you want to see it go in after season 19 finishes. So what has Cole had to say about replacing Harmon in the lead role? Stay with us to find out. The suit star, who was recently named as successor to fan favorite Harmon, has reassured fans that he is absolutely not there to do an impression of Harmon's character, Leroy Jethro Gibbs, which they will probably be happy to learn. Cole has been confirmed in the role of former FBI agent Alden Parker and is set to take the helm in the forthcoming season of NCIS. The reason for Parker taking over comes after our hero from season 1 to 19 has retired to Alaska and the Kim Possible actor has said that he is keen to have Parker seen as his own character. He said, I've done a lot of dropping into shows, usually as a recurring character, noting his work in shows such as The Good Wife. He went on to explain that his job on NCIS is to become comfortable with the character he is going to play, and in under no circumstances is he trying to be Gibbs, which is good to know. It's great to learn that he has the license to take the character on and provide his own take on it. Be super easy to just follow in his footsteps. He went on to explain that his character isn't the most talkative, but he's open to new ideas when it comes to solving crimes, which involves bringing tech into play. He told us that another way the characters differ is that while Gibbs broke rules, Parker tends to just bend them. So what else have we seen Cole in before? Let's see. After beginning his career as a stage actor, Cole spent the early part of the 1980s in various small, uncredited film and TV roles. His first TV role of note came as the character of Jack Nighthawk Killian in the Midnight Caller series. One of his critically acclaimed roles came as the statistic office boss in the cult classic Office Space. When asked about the movie and his character in it, Bill Lumberg, Cole had this to say, everyone in Office Space thought that this movie had died. So that's how I knew the movie was actually some kind of success because people were coming up doing some lines from the movie. It never gets old because it reminds you that something you did had some impact. You could work your whole career and have nothing like that last that long. What's your favorite line from Office Space? Other notable roles for Cole include Mike Brady in the family-friendly The Brady Bunch movie, as well as this. He's appeared in films such as Talladega Nights, American Pastime, and Forever Strong. His more notable TV credits include playing Wayne on Desperate Housewives, Andrew Klein on hit HBO show Entourage, and Kent Davison on Veep. Cole's been around for what seems like an eternity and, as he mentioned, is more used to playing the recurring character role. It's nice to see an actor who has made his bones for so long in an unforgiving industry get a much-deserved lead role such a well-established show. So what can we expect from season 20? As the show is still so far from returning, we haven't even finished the curtain season yet, it is safe to say we don't really know what will potentially go down in season 20. 20, probably hinge on what happens at the end of season 19, which we're set to find out early next year. As we know, at the end of season 18, Gibbs almost died and the ramifications of that carried over into the beginning of season 19. It would be a pretty safe bet to say that season 20 will introduce and focus upon Cole's character, new recruit, NCIS supervisory special agent Olden Parker. It'll be interesting how far into the backstory the writers will go in introducing the character of Parker. As we'll be aware of that too much will turn into a show solely about him, fans will already had a taster in season 19. Although we like the idea that Gibbs hasn't been completely killed off, which could see the former special agent return at some point in the future, maybe in the team up with Parker. Some NCIS Hawaii news now, stay tuned. Having recently aired for the first time on CBS, NCIS Hawaii has now seen more delays as the station has decided to shake up its schedule for the Christmas period. This week's episode, which is the sixth episode in 
in season one is unfortunately the last time we will see Vanessa Lakey's character, Special Agent Jane Tennant, for some time. This hiatus will come as the show's longest yet, and although there have been breaks before, we'll have to wait until well into the new year to see how the season pans out. We are set to see how Tara and Whistler's relationship develops and what will happen between the pair. Both teams will be working together to track down a consignment of weapons which has gone missing. We'll also find out if Jane will arrest Alex's buddy's dad. There are no more plans for a break in season one after it returns in the new year, and fans will be delighted that they will have a full, uninterrupted run into the end of the season. Are you currently watching the Hawaii spinoff? Some news of when NCIS LA will return now, so stick around. The Naval Criminal Investigation Unit's LA branch will soon be returning to the screens of its fans, complete season 13 of the hit show. The show, like its Hawaii counterpart, is currently on its mid-season festive breaks. So it'll be returning sooner than fans had thought it would, which is great news. The show took a hiatus after the last episode, which aired on November 21st, which gave us the sixth episode in season 13. The wait is soon to be over, as we can reveal that it will be returning on Sunday, January 2nd. Thankfully, it will air at 8 p.m., and CBS has revealed that it will also be available to stream on CBS Online. You can also use Paramount Plus to stream the show shortly after it airs. The episode will be called Lost Soldier Down, and we'll see Chris O'Donnell's character, Callan, investigate a naval suicide after a drug-induced night out. Have you been keeping up with NCIS LA? Let us know below. Next up, we're talking some behind-the-scenes action from Season 19 now. Stay tuned. As we know, the first half of Season 19 drew to a close this week, and will return in a few weeks' time. But in the meantime, we have news of some BTS capers. Katrina Law, who plays Special Agent Jessica Knight on the hit show, recently shared an Instagram shot of the whole crew, as well as new series regular Special Agent Teddy Bear. The crew were in character for the shot, and most looked super serious whilst introducing the new team member, who, if you haven't seen the photo or didn't guess from the name, is an actual stuffed bear. Hilarious? You can check out the selfie by following Katrina on Insta or just googling the image. And finally, Polly Perrette gets a makeover. Perrette, who used to play chief forensic scientist Abby Scioto, recently showed off a cool new hairdo, completely getting rid of her trademark hair. The 52-year-old unveiled a new rainbow hairstyle. There was not a hint of anything gothic about it. Apparently, she did it herself and shared the results online, saying, I'm a rainbow, hashtag rainbow, hashtag my hair, hashtag DIY. New hairstyle garnered tons of attention online, and fans were quick to respond, most of whom were full of praise for the colors. One fan said, love your hair, whilst another said, that looks spectacular. What did you guys make of Polly's new hairdo? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thanks for tuning in today, guys, and remember to swing by next time for some more fun revelations. Also, feel free to do us a solid. Share this video with any of your NCIS fan friends. Bye, guys. Thank you.